Appalachian State interior designers are professionally trained to create spaces that are safe, functional, and attractive. The Bachelor of Science in Interior Design prepares students to enter the interior design profession and positions them to seek professional status through the National Council for Interior Design Qualification Exam, as well as state-specific license. Appalachian's interior design program places particular emphasis on environmental responsibility, community service, global issues, and universal design, which accommodates people of all abilities. Our curriculum integrates theory and application and prepares students to work in either residential or commercial design. In this multidisciplinary program, students develop a strong foundation in building science and construction methods, as well as aesthetically appropriate design. The program is located within the Department of Applied Design. That being said, Appalachian State's Interior Design Program is a CETA accredited program. CETA is the Council for Interior Design Accreditation, which is a nonprofit organization ensuring the quality, dedication, and responsibility of interior design programs and the students within. The Interior Design Program at Appalachian State has numerous ways to get involved in the program, such as our Interior Design Club, faculty elected student ambassadors, and student subsets of IIDA and ASID, which are professional interior design organizations that have many scholarships, networking, and professional opportunities for students. Also, as part of our interior design program, we have great opportunities to travel abroad and gain real-world experience. Appalachian State offers study abroad programs like the summer trip to Italy or Paris, where we visit numerous cities and study design in a different country. Another option is to study abroad for an entire semester during the fall of your junior year. There are also small field trips throughout all four years where we go to places like High Point Furniture Market, Cooper Lighting, New York City, or even Chicago. Not only do we learn more about design, we create new experiences and network with professionals. Part of being an interior designer is having a heavy focus on architectural design and building science. We get to collaborate with other majors in building science focused courses like construction management, electrical, and other building systems. These courses are hands-on and we learn more about the built environment rather than just aesthetics. We learn how a building is construction and literally get to build one. All of our studio courses have an emphasis on construction documentation, building codes, and the legitimacy of how the design will be constructed or developed. With these different classes, we gain a better understanding of the design industry, build a community of diverse designers, and network with fellow students and faculty. Along with a focus on construction architecture, we work in various BIM programs, which is building information modeling. These softwares include AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Our students also experiment in rendering programs such as Enscape and Twinmotion and work in virtual reality walkthroughs and advanced computer software. Appalachian State University is huge on sustainability, as we should be. The earth matters and so do we. According to the EPA, 90% of our time is spent inside buildings, and we as designers are creating spaces for people to live, work, and play. So it is our mission to make sure the interior environment is happy, healthy, and sustainable. Environmentally ethical practices and solutions are intertwined within our curriculum, influencing our designs, personal lifestyles, and philosophy. As a whole, App State's interior design program is award-winning. We are committed to our students' success and education of interior design. We have placed winners in the Source Lighting Design Competition for seven years running, as well as awards in the PAVE Student Competition for five years in a row. Additionally, we have placed first two years in a row for ASID's Auto Zinke Competition. Due to our achievements, we showcase our comprehensive education in interior design with an emphasis on building, construction, and aesthetics. As your first year as freshman in interior design, you go through Visual Literacy 1, 2, and Studio 1 in Design Matters that transition you into becoming officially a part of the program. Through Visual Literacy, you learn the foundations of design principles and elements. You create 2D abstract art using the principles of elements and design. Then in Visual Literacy 2, you create 3D models with those foundations. Additionally, Design Matters encompasses design strategies and program as a whole. This course encourages students to think and plan critically and creatively to develop solutions for proposed problems. From there, you go into Studio One, where you learn how you use SketchUp, architectural rulers, and introductions into construction documents. Within Studio One, you create projects such as space manipulation, a social kiosk, and a renovation design. Finally, by the end of the freshman year, students gather all of their work from the past two semesters for a portfolio review. The review panel is comprised of interior design faculty members who analyze the student's work and determine who is accepted into the program. Now that you're officially in the program, you start Studio 2 and 3, as well as building tech classes, which allow you to learn more about design and construction. 
you are able to do hands-on construction work and learn about real-world application of construction, HVAC systems, electrical, and so much more. In Studio 2, you create a residential project that enforces universal design principles as well as environmentally sensitive aspects. Also, you get to practice NKB8 guidelines, which is an association specializing in kitchen and bath spatial planning and analysis. In Studio 3, you design a commercial office interior where you learn more about space planning, building codes, ADA regulations, and work with commercial furniture representatives and dealerships. One of the most important courses students take during sophomore year is Systems 1, where students learn about materials, finishes, and applications, and become more aware of products and specifications. The neat part about sophomore year is you get to interact with real professionals, whether it's the furniture dealers from Herman Miller or material reps from Knoll. As a junior in the program, you have Interior Systems 2, which focuses on line design, Studio 4 and 5, and environmental human behavior. In lighting design, you learn in depth ways to measure light, specify fixtures, and even the history of modern lighting. Studio 4 is a cultural studio where you collaborate with a school overseas. This studio advances a student's cultural awareness and understanding of diversity. The studio either works on restaurant project or hotel resort. You can even enter into the Eaton Lighting competition or other competitions like the New Age Green Voice competition. Studio 5 is a collaborative studio where you work on healthcare projects with fellow students or you can be involved in IDEX, which is a unique program where students are involved in design to build processes for real life clients. In the environmental human behavior course, you learn more about the psychology aspects of design and how it affects us as humans. All through our courses, we learn more and more about environmentally sensitive aspects and how design impacts us mentally, physically, and emotionally. Finally, it is senior year and does it go by fast without you realizing it? Now that you have a lot of combined knowledge and experience over the years, you go into Studio 6 and 7. Studio 6 is paid competition where you enter into a competition and follow their brief. Not only do you have a project to submit, but you have a chance to win monetary prize as well as recognition. Studio 7 is a pre-design class where you get to research about your final senior project. It can be healthcare, residential, hospitality, commercial, or anything you can imagine. After pre-design, you get to create and design the building yourself with all the research you have accomplished. At the beginning, it might seem overwhelming, but do not worry. You will have gained all the knowledge you needed throughout your whole career here in the Interior Design Program at Appalachian State University. We really hope you join our community soon.